Hi, I'm Steve Sandler, the Managing Director of PicoTest, a company that specializes in precision test and measurement equipment. I'm also the founder of AEI Systems, a company that specializes in modeling, analysis, and simulation. In part two of this video series, I discuss the importance of keeping impedance flat. Here in part three of this series, I'll explain why impedance matching is critical to PDN design. Test equipment makers and RF designers have long understood the importance of impedance matching between signal sources and loads. That's why standard impedance values, such as 50 ohms, are so common for equipment and cabling. In the area of PDNs, impedance matching is so important because the lowest PDN impedance occurs when the source and load impedances are exactly equal. Matching the interconnect impedance, the load impedance, and the source impedance ensures a flat impedance curve as shown here. Conversely, any mismatch leads to higher capacitance or inductance as depicted here. Either one is undesirable. As these impedance curves illustrate, impedance matching in PDNs is like balancing a teeter-totter. If the VRM impedance is greater than the PC board plane impedance, the PDN looks capacitive at the load. If the VRM impedance is below the printed circuit board impedance, the latter will look inductive at the load. To recap what we've discussed in this video series, developers of board level power solutions need to understand three concepts relating to the design of power distribution networks. First, know what a PDN is and why its proper design is critical to the performance of high-speed digital systems. Second, understand the importance of keeping PDN impedance flat over the frequency range of interest in the application and how this translates to a requirement for a flat output impedance curve for the power converter. And third, understand the importance of impedance matching in the design of PDNs and how ultimately this means the system designer needs to be able to match the output impedance of the power converter to the PDN. While this short introduction to PDNs has only scratched the surface of what designers might learn about PDNs, hopefully it has given power designers some insight into how the power ICs and power converter solutions they develop impact circuit performance in real, high-performance systems. For those who want additional insights into issues their customers face in designing PDNs, see the references listed here. If you have any questions about the information presented in this video, please email me at steve at picotest.com. Thank you.